Okay, today we are playing a game on Blizzard World. We are in the Bronze SR range, and we will be playing Sombra most of the way through. There's a little bit of Symmetra at the end, but like two minutes. The vast majority of this game is Sombra. So, defending first. We're playing Sombra, though, so of course we're up to no good. We've also discovered they have a Zenyatta. Fantastic news. Very easy character to bully for flankers. So we sneak up on the Junkrat. He turns on us, we translocate away really quickly, you know? We could have stuck out there a little bit longer. I, you know, the risk is, of course, getting burst to death before, by Junkrat before you actually can react, but... Just, like, translocated out of full health, like, as soon as he looked at us, you know, I'd go for a little bit longer. So we put our translocator in a really defensive spot all the way back over here. Now, this is, of course, extremely safe place to have the translocator. And, like, no chance of it getting broken unexpectedly or translocating onto someone. Uh, Moira seems to really be up to some shit right now. I don't know what to think about that one. So instead of that, though, we could just put, like, our translocator, like, over here. Most people don't even know there's a health kit over here, so they aren't going to check it for translocators. If you're really scared, you know, put it, like, around the corner. And then we can get this one if we translocate away, because we're, you know, low health. Get this health kit, go back out there. We're, like, back in there harassing them almost immediately again. Uh, whereas if the transfer getter is this far back, it takes a while to get back out there again. And we're trying to maintain uptime as much as we can as Sombra, as any hero, really. Sombra, we're trying to get to that Emp as quickly as possible, so... We don't want it to take too long to get Link back into a good position to be harassing people. So we're playing very safe right now. They do have a uh, Hammond, so of course we want to try and harass him as much as possible as well. Now that truly did upset the Hammond, no doubt hacking him like that. But I'd honestly rather say, like if I'm going to hack Hammond, I want it to be when he's going in. Not when he's like completely safe and away from our boys, basically. Like right now Hammond's coming in. Um, he just like swung right past over here, you know. If you hack him right as he's going in, that's how you kill the guy instead. I'm also usually not super excited to hack, uh, or super excited about hacking Zarya, because her abilities are really long cooldown. So unless, like, she's got her ultimate, hacking Zarya tends to not be super impactful, as opposed to hacking, like, some other people. Someone like, uh, um... Zenyatta, like, he can't move his orbs around properly. Genji, he's not a hero anymore, you know? Uh, Zarya, mostly just kind of still doing her own thing. So we did indeed just die. We just, like, trip over a bomb. Because I, I, I confess I wasn't uh, watching super closely for how we died. We did bully this guy, though, so that felt good. Yeah, we just killed him and then, like, died right afterwards because Junkrat shot us. I mean... We did throw the translocator, so we could have gotten out um, right after killing the guy. But whatever, you know. We lost that point anyway, so it's not like they're doing too much yet. Uh, looks like our diva's getting fucked up. Yep, diva just lost her mech. Uh, it, it doesn't look like it's going super well in our absence, but I mean... our t oh, oh, Moira, what are you doing over there, brother? <laughs> ah, she's... Uh, Really, uh, being of great assist. Oh, look at Moira over here. Just being absolute credit to the team. You know, full team fight happened over there. Moira, you know, off doing her own little thing on the side. You know how Moira players are. You know, you know. We all know. So we've almost got M built up. That's pretty exciting. They're all, oh my god, Moira. <laughs> They're nice and grouped together as well. Ah, didn't quite get him. Yes. So, very upsetting. We didn't quite get the Hammond. Um, we didn't quite get him at all. But also, like, oh, that's like peak sadness if you can like hack him out of the sl ground slam. Ooh, feels so good. We basically just get like way overexcited to be chasing after this guy. And like, doesn't help that Soldier pops out with a flanking tack visor right there, immediately drawing as much aggro to that side as possible. I'd rather just stay on the high ground. Like, we don't need much alt charge at that point. We could just shoot Hammond from the high ground, then drop down and tack vi and tack visor them, Jesus Christ. Drop down and emp them when they're on the payload altogether, rather than jumping down and chasing after the Hammond. Hey, here's Hammond. Mm, feels good. So we lost that checkpoint. Tragic, unfortunate, very upsetting, you know. Um, I can hear Junkrat using Riptire. We're gonna hide out of the way now. 
I saw some Zenyatta silhouette coming out of the doorway on our right side, so I was a, a bit afraid that we were going to get got by Zenyatta while we were hiding, but we didn't, so that's good, that's good. Um, so our team, uh, our team's not like, you know, Diva just used self-destruct over there. I would describe our teammates as not being particularly helpful at the current moment, um, certainly, you know. Uh, we have Amp, uh, well, you know... Probably don't need to go too in-depth about that one. Uh, it wasn't a good time to do that, even if it worked, but, like, it might have been a fat finger by all accounts, to be honest. Uh, anyway, you know... Wasn't the best timing. Wasn't the best timing, even if it did hit. So, ah... Uh, mm-hmm, yeah, this, this, you know... If we had Amp right now... That would have been sick. Hack Hammond's Mines. Oh my god, Hammond gets pretty upset about that one. Tragically, the Mines last forever, though, so the Imp doesn't stay on them forever, but... Soldier's really fucking trying right now, huh? So we've hacked the Zarya. She does have her ult. Oh, she's just waiting for it. To she's just waiting to push Q right there. And then she didn't push Q. All right, well, so we hack her again. Now we're having a great... She's like, where? Where? Where is this happening from? So we were having a great time. Gen Genji, what the fuck are you doing? Oh my god. Gen j just like squat down next to the payload, fucking deflecting at the wall. Like, you know, we're, we're definitely watching some people in bronze. Uh, we could have been shooting at her that whole time. We were really focused on the hacking part. We didn't start shooting. We could have just shoot shot her like way sooner. Just gave her a little bit of energy. You know, not really going to amount to anything. Wow, Zen's in there, huh? I don't think we've seen him, because I'm obviously looking at the silhouette on the screen right now. I don't think we saw Zenyatta in there. Or oh, he was tucking re He's actually, like, just squished right in against the corner. Look at him. What a champion. I don't think we actually saw him. I only knew he was in there because I saw the silhouette. Yeah, we haven't actually, like, looked in that room and seen him. To be fair... Who, who would think that this guy was in here, right? Like, to be fair, you don't exactly expect to see that, do you? Um, so anyway, we're getting out of there. Ooh, Zarya's up to no good. Ooh, here comes the flanking Graviton. It's on its way. So now they're doing some uh, pretty sick plays over here. We seem very unsure of what to be doing right now. The whole like 30 second period, it kind of felt like we weren't really sure what to be doing with our time. Pretty much like we could have just like gone out and harassed somebody. You know, like Sombra, you can go out and do some like pretty aggressive like harassing when they're regrouping still because you have such a good escape in Translocator. So, like, we could have just, like, put our translocator down somewhere and gone out to, like, harass them and just kind of make life difficult for them. You know, because we just kind of spent a lot of time hanging out next to our boys. Like, we're not really, like, leveraging a lot of, like, what makes Sombra so annoying to play against, which is harassing the fuck out of people. Now, part of this is probably because we're also thinking, I really want to annoy Hammond by hacking him when he goes in. And if you're off flanking people, it's harder to do that. But to be honest with you, their Hammond is, like, non-existent, it feels like. So we might as well have just gone off and harassed their backline. Like, just go make Zen's life miserable as much as possible, right? Instead, we just kind of, like... We just played really defensively. Like, you can play really aggressively as Sombra because Translocator is such a good escape, right? Like, you just go out there and harass the fuck out of people. Um, we just felt very listless and unsure of what to do with our times. Our time. Just go fucking annoy people, right? So we got Hanzo right there. He's gonna be upset about that one. Oh, he's so low. Alright, we got him. We got him. Both their DPS. Like, to be honest, I just go capture the checkpoint. <laughs> I just go start capturing the checkpoint. Um, we come back, we kill Lucio, and he's upset. Kill Moira. Hooray, good job, us. We killed them all. Um, not exactly the best time to translocate away right there, whatever. I, after killing those two, it's just like, well, if they're gonna go fight out there, I'm just gonna capture the fucking checkpoint if they're gonna go and try and, like, spawn camp my team. Ah, unfortunate. Uh, I don't, like, go that far up when you got 20 health, you know? Now, now is the time to be playing further back while we wait to get healed or go find a health kit. 
Alright, Hack Hammond. He's upset. Follow him over scuttling around. He's really just, like, on this course. He's not changing his plan. Uh... Like, what are you doing here, brother? What are you doing? That's a classic Hammond play right there. Fucking, all right. I don't, like, I got hacked, and they've captured the checkpoint. Well, I'm still, like, look. I decided what I'm going to do. I'm not adjusting that, okay? Like, I'm going to go in, and I'm going to get this fucking Torbjorn. I didn't get him. I got hacked again. What the fuck? I don't understand. Classic. Just, like, keep barreling forward. Full tilt ahead. Don't adjust in any way. No, 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 no. No need. No need. I'm so fast, I have so many hit points, I'll just get in and get out before anything can happen. Oh fuck, I died, I don't understand. So, ooh, Zen, ooh, ah, mm-hmm. Don't really need to hack Zen, usually, before you start going for him, because, like, all you're really stopping is him putting Discord Orb on you, and Zen is so easy to hit that, like, you can usually just, like, kill him before he even has time to react. You know, assuming you have, like, a, enough, uh... Uh, confidence in your aim like usually the the hack on the zen is a kind of unnecessary you start drilling into his back and that's good enough a lot of the time now junkrat he's definitely one you want to hack beforehand <sighs> I didn't properly think it through because we didn't have a, a translocator put down so you immediately just like have to try and like run away with the translocator um, I do like using the translocator for the mobility. I feel like people are too afraid. Oh, it was a bit aggressive, uh, or a bit egregious, Reinhardt, but, uh, you know, you know, you do you. Uh, I feel like a lot of Sombra players are too afraid to use the translocator just for movement, like, to get up to places. But, like, the, we, I feel like we have the, uh, a, the di a different issue of being too afraid to just, like, go and do something aggressive instead, you know? We've played very defensively as Sombra this whole time. Which, depending on who you're playing against, is pretty much the play. Because sometimes you're gonna be playing against the tit- like, look at this fucking Zen go, dude. What an absolute fucking Alpha Chad play, right? Like, I'm gonna walk into their spawn and fucking show them tranquility. Um, oh, hey, Hammond. Yeah, this is unfortunate, isn't it? That's the thing with using it for mobility. Now we don't have it to escape when we got into a bad spot. Um, what was I saying? I have... Feels like we're too, uh, like, depend if you're playing against a team that's, like, Hammond Doomfist, then at that point you're just, like, I'm fully committed to just, like, fucking these boys up when they go in. And then you do just, like, sit with your team, you know, and harass, uh, and just harass them when they come in. But, like, it's just there, Hammond, and he's really bad. We don't need to play defensively, we can just go do aggressive things instead. Um, the Emp there felt a bit egregious because they were doing stuff that they shouldn't have been doing, which we should be able to kill them without using the Emp. And uh, it's you, not very efficient to hack somebody, then Emp immediately afterwards. It's like, if you know you're gonna Emp, it's better to just Emp, and then as the Emp is running out, you re-hack the person that you think you most want to inconvenience during that fight instead. So you just, you know, flip the order of the hack. If you know you're gonna Emp, just hold the hack to re-hack somebody at the end. Um, so they're Junkrat's like, like, you know, like, we're definitely playing in bronze. Uh, definitely, you know, like, this is a, a fairly textbook, um, bronze Junkrat player. I'm not sure why we did that with our translocator, exactly. Um, there was, like, not much to be afraid of right there. We could have just, like, st stuck around. So, Moira's fucking in. Hack Moira, can't fade out. Don't, don't know if she even would have gotten the opportunity to regardless. Alright, you do that, Zen. You do that. Um, that is the thing with hacking Zen before you start killing him, if you think he's got trance. But, like, to be honest with you, if he trances because he thinks I'm going to kill him, that's still positive as far as I'm concerned. Like, like he still just, like, used his M because he thought he was going to die instead of, like, using it to counter an ultimate. So Genji was upset. Oh, mm, ah, here comes Hammond. All right, very effective rip tire that one looked like. Um, hacking Moira is not as exciting as hacking Hammond. Yeah, here we go. Um, unless Moira is using Coalescence, of course. Then Moira is very exciting to hack, actually. Zen's real fucking in, you know, he's got no clue how to position on Zen Yada, so he's just gonna get fucking clamped. Ooh, she got Coalescence, yeah, and she can't use Fade now either. Um, Moira is pretty inconvenienced by the hack. Uh, so, anyway, uh, a lot of our boys died. Very tragic, very upsetting. 
you know. Uh, we don't have a great- we don't have a great many options for keeping our teammates alive when, uh, you know, the enemy team are doing stupid shit as well, right? Like, they're doing stupid shit, our team's just gonna die. Alright, you know, very cool. We're just using Coalescence right now. Oh yeah, he's fucking dead. Fuck that guy. Uh... So, I just saw Hammond kill Torbjorn. That means Hammond's behind us right now. I did see him, like, silhouette-wise earlier, but, you know, we can't see the silhouette in-game, obviously, so I made nothing of it, but... He showed up in the kill feed from killing uh, Torbjorn. At that point, I would like to turn around and see if I can inconvenience Hammond by hacking him. Yeah, we didn't have a translocator. What, what do we do with our trans- Why was our translocator on cooldown? Right there. This is back 20 seconds. I need to, you know, go way further back. We chucked it over there. I just got broke as he was coming out. Fair enough. Um, we didn't really chuck it in a great place because they're going to be coming that way. So it's very easy for them to just break the translocator on the way over. Um, we would need to chuck it like more off into the corner. Oh, fuck. I took it away right as I was going to demonstrate, you know. We need to throw it like way more into the corner, like over here for like that toss to work out. Otherwise, just, like, toss it back this way instead, you know? If you're just, like, in a fight and you want to chuck one somewhere safe, just, like, chuck it backwards instead. Um, because if you chuck it forward, it's easy for them to break it while they're reinforcing, unless you chuck it somewhere that's out of sight at the same time. But, depending on the map, it's hard to do that in the middle of things. So, uh, tragically, we lost that fight again. Uh, Genji used Dragon Blade right as we were about to capture. Very upsetting. Uh, we don't have... Okay, like, we're throwing one down now. This kind of play, like, we, we, need, we need to be, like, a little bit more prepared on that one, you know? Um, like, that's a fine place to have a translocator, because you can just, like, tuck it in here. And they're not gonna know, like, people are not gonna check for things, right? Like, not in bronze, and they won't anyway, to be honest with you. Um, if you get, like, we've, like, that's the kind of play I've wanted us to do a few times now, but we didn't have a translocator set up anywhere, so it was just really risky and scary. But we got out, and that means we didn't get punished, and, like I always say, if you don't get punished, you don't have to fucking learn. So, anyway, we finally got it to the end. Hooray, we got there with time to spare, so we do get our, uh, extension. I can't find the correct fucking key. There we go. Uh, we did get our extension. Uh, we don't have a lot of time, of course, but, uh, simultaneously... Oh god, excuse me. We didn't have much trouble capturing the first checkpoint last time, so it's hard, no, you know. Based off previous experience, you know. So they haven't picked any, uh, any Bastions, which is very, ex very, uh, surprising, to be honest with you. People love to pick the Bastion, don't they, when there's not much time left on the clock. So... We, you know, we're, we want it, we want it. I understand. We want it. We're very patient. This is not a good way to be approaching. Ooh, we could have just gone out the other door and that would have been 100% safe instead of doing that. Now, fortunately, Junkrat, he's not the smartest player in the world, as we've observed a few times now. So he didn't suspect a thing. He is now slightly suspicious. He is uh, slightly suspicious at this point. Um, so... What I would have rather have done in that position is, you know, we see Junkrat's over here. Mm, all right, we kind of like feel out to see if we can get him. And then he leaves the room. All right, you know, a little harder to get him now. At that point, like if they're going to fight here, fuck it. I'm just going to go start capturing the checkpoint. And depending on how much attention they're paying, I might get the first tick just for free. And then there's not all, they're going to like fuck up because like these guys are in bronze, right? And people will fuck this up anyway. They're not going to respond appropriately. Some of them are going to stay. A couple of them are going to come back. If like Zen comes back by himself or something or just Junkrat, I'm just going to fight the guy. If like a bunch of them come back, all right, whatever. Um, you know, we're going up. We put a translocator somewhere, you know, just like chuck one up here if we want. As we're coming over here, start capturing the checkpoint. If multiple of them come back, translocate away. All right, let's see who didn't come back with them, because now I'm going to hack them as uh, they're coming back from the point from trying to stop me from capturing the point. Whoever didn't go back to do that, just going to hack them, going to collapse on them with my team. It's going to be great, you know. Um, cool thing about Sombra, flankers in general, if the enemy team is playing really far forwards, Go start capturing the checkpoint and see what they do. If only like one or two of them comes back and it's like a support and like maybe a DPS or something, just try and like fight it out. This is the thing with flankers, they justify this uneven response, right? And then you can just leave. 
You know, you can just leave if things start going badly. I, we never actually managed to get to the point on that one. Just go start capturing it. If they're gonna fight at, like, my spawn, I'm gonna go and back cap it. Fuck them. Fuck them. If they're not gonna respect me, why would I respect them? Basically. So, here's the Symmetra segment that we've entered into now. Just uh, chuck some, some of them boys out there. The, it's not as good on the statue there. Like, those two are fine. I would prefer if this one was a little bit higher up. Just because you go for, like... You want it to be in the most inconvenient location possible for them as they're coming through. Which basically me Like, look at this fucking clown. Look at this fucking clown. Anyway, um, you want it to be in the most inconvenient place as they're walking through, which is like... Ugh, up and back, basically. My thing with this, and like, here, here's the secret sauce for when you're playing Symmetra, right? If they've got a Reinhardt, here's how you make a Reinhardt player exceedingly sad. You put it too high for the Reinhardt player to hammer it. Right? But close enough that it hits them. Because nobody ever fucking helps the Reinhardt player, right? The amount of fucking times. The, um... <clears throat> mad just thinking about it. The amount of times I've walked through a choke point as Reinhardt and just been like, three lasers are just on my fucking back. And I'm like, I don't want to take my shield down because I'm going to get fucking shot. And the rest of my, I just watch them just walk, just walk ahead of me. They're just like, hey, good job tanking those lasers for us, Reinhardt. We're going in now. And they just leave me. And they don't break the fucking turrets. So I'm just stuck in this fucking limbo where I'm like, I'm just trying to walk away from them. But I can't. I can't take it down to sh break the turrets because they're going to shoot me. Oh, God, I can't walk away, though, because I'm getting fucking lasered. Oh, if I try and hammer them, oh god, I gotta like jump and hit while getting shot at. It's awful. So, you know, you know, it's just generally inconvenient if you have to do that motion to break a turret, but like, it'll make the Reinhardt player sad nine times out of ten. The amount of fucking times that people just like watch me being sad and just walk off ahead anyway. So, you know, there goes Hammond, uh, playing Hammond basically. Um,. Here comes Genji, uh, Reinhardt managed to die, great job, you know, um, we dip out of the way. Now, fortunately, they have, like, no sense of what just happened, you know, these people, they have no concept of three-dimensional space. They saw us, like, here, you know, and then they watched us disappear, and they thought to themselves, I guess Symmetra died. I, I don't see her anymore, she was in front of me, she's not in front of me anymore. There's no possible way that she could have escaped outside of just dying, so whatever. We, of course, are like, ha ha, fucking clowns, ha 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 ha, just sit up here shooting down at them and they don't even, like, glance backwards at us, they're too busy, like, they just, no, she's gone, she's gone, I guess Symmetra died. Uh, anyway, you know... What fun. That turret, I, the turret actually survived for a really long time, the turret on the statue. I expected that one to get broken really quickly because it was, like, not that inconvenient of a location. But I guess if they just don't fucking try to break it, right? Like, it's all good. Uh, I don't really like these places either because it's really easy to break these turrets before you actually, like, fully commit to an engagement. Because if you just peek around this corner... Oh, it's right there, you know? If you just peek around this corner... Uh -uh, it's there, right? Like, you want it to be in a position, like, Torbjorn's turret, I think of this in the same way. You want it to be in a position where they can't break it before the fight starts. They have to commit to the fight and then break it during the fight. And that's, like, the most, con like, inconvenient way you can possibly, like... Uh, fuck this. In that's the most inconvenient thing you can do to them basically. So, it's better to put it somewhere where they have to fully commit to a fight first, which basically is like, you know, if you put it, like, right here, you know, they have to walk around this corner and start, uh, like, fighting on the point before they can be in a position to break that turret at all, you know? Rather than right there where they can break it as soon as they come around the corner. Um, Torbjorn's turret, like, same thing, you know? Like, if they have, like, if they just, like, walk around the corner like that and start getting lasered, you know, great. But, like, if they have sell any, just any kind of self-preservation instincts at all, unlike this fucking buffoon right here, this fucking 
absolute maverick, he says to himself, whatever, you know, fuck it, who cares, you know, somebody's gotta get this Bastion, and it's gonna be me. I see Bastions in this corner, you know what I could do, you know, if I was a pussy, but you know, I'm fucking Alpha Chad Junkrat here, you know, got the fucking suntan lotion, got my visor on, I'm the Alpha Chad, you know what I'm gonna do? I ain't no fucking bitch. A bitch would walk around and come this way in so that they're just on Bastion and they don't have to make cover any distance first, but no, no, no. Alpha Chad Junkrat, I'm just gonna run straight fucking at him, all right? He's not gonna shoot me. How could he possibly? Look, look how much armor I'm wearing. It's impossible. I'm just gonna deflect his bullets with my fucking six pack, brother. What's he gonna do to stop me? Oh shit, I died. It's hard being an Alpha Chad sometimes, you know? Anyway. <laughs> oh. So, we've got our ult built up. That's pretty sick. Eh, you know... By that point, so many of them have died, I don't want to do it anymore. Like, by that point, half their team is dead. Now, I understand we dropped kind of low, so... Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. I understand we dropped kind of low, so you're probably scared. But by that point, the ult was pretty unnecessary. We pretty much won that fight. Uh, oh, he's doing it! Oh! Oh! Fucking... Why didn't it work, brother? Yo! I... Yo, brother! What happened? You know, I feel like we were here not that long ago. Like... What happened? What... What led us to this destination? How could this have happened two times in a row? I don't understand. The plan was foolproof. You just didn't flex hard enough, clearly. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh... Something something definition of madness. Anyway. Oh my god. I'm gonna have a fucking aneurysm. Alright. At this point, we might as well just put the turrets there, right? Like, we might as fucking well. Like, I like how he got scared. I like how Zenyatta got scared. Did you see that? He, like, ulted to touch the point, and then peeked around the corner and went, Oh, fuck Bastion, and then went back around the corner, and then went, All oh, right, I'm using Transcendence right now, and came back in again. Um... Oh my god. Alright, so just, this is like a lot of scary things are happening, but Genji doesn't know what to do. He was using Dragon Blade, but he just didn't know what to do. Oh. Oh. Apparently, Bastion in tank form killed nothing, according to the kill feed there. I was like trying to process that one. Oh yeah, oh, optimal timing on this minefield. Absolutely dreadful. There's no way we could possibly stop him. I like how she's getting closer to Bastion right there. That was nice. Oh my god. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Oof. I'm gonna go to sleep. Jesus Christ, thanks for watching. Oh my god. Oh, Christ.